Hello, my name is Robin Malau. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, let me shortly introduce myself. I mean, you've, you've seen my, my profile, but it's not everything there. Uh, well, I'm not going to explain everything, um, but um, I've been doing this for for 25 years, this music thing, and um, I started as a, as, a, as a musician in a band. Uh, I started a band in 1992. Uh, it was a hardcore band. We The band lasts like uh, 10 years and we release like three albums independently self-finance self-product self-produced self-distributed uh, albums um uh, three of them and several other singles so after the band i i got interested into working on the back uh, on, on on backstage and uh, under the curtain so I started a, a several music companies like artist management. I help uh, some independent bands uh, sign with with, with labels. Um, I facilitate them to sign with sponsors and touring, etc. And then I start a, a music merchandising company, um, a digital music aggregator, etc., etc. Um, because I do it with all my heart, music is my thing. Um, I do it the best way I can. So I got some awards out of that, which is which is good, which is fine. But it never been the goal. So um, I'm just going to do this. Either I'm getting the awards or, or not. Because I start as a, I started out as a, as a musician in a band, uh, I kind of experienced the whole chain of uh, of, of how and, and, and understand uh, how this music industry or music ecosystem works. And then I realized that whatever whatever I do or whatever we do as Indonesian, as a, as a, as a citizen of a developing country, whatever we do. One day, um, our effort will be stopped, kind of yeah, stopped by uh, uh, wrong or lack of government policy or government support. So because of that, I I decided to start a company that actively uh, involved with 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 with, with uh, government policy. So the company name is Walikota Music. Uh, sorry, uh, it's, it's it's not spelled. It's, it's Indonesian. So Walikota Music. It's Walikota Music. It means uh, a mayor of music. So what I do in Walikota Music is uh, is to empower governments, um, NGOs, uh, trade organizations to use music as a strategic tool to build places to build brands or, or any other things um, because those organizations are using music they they understand uh, you know uh, the problems when using music one of those is obviously uh, government policy so by doing that I also advocate we need to you know create a better policy that can support music so so basically that's what I do in the past two years and it's, it's going fine it's uh, I start to get clients um, you know city governments the central governments um, and it, uh, also the UN and uh, it's good it's it's, it's 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 pretty much okay so I'm happy with the result I'm happy with how it's it's progressing and um, yeah it's basically what I do. So, what's happening in Indonesia? It's uh, I think we're in the phase of uh, of accepting popular music as a, as a norm or as a, as a, as a primary format of entertainment, uh, which is good. 
And um, in the past few years, it's 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 uh, it's really hard to find places that not contain music. If that makes sense, uh, if you go to pubs, uh, clubs, restaurants, cafes, places, offices, everywhere, there's music uh, being played. So it's it's really hard to find to not find music. However, the money isn't there yet, though. It's uh, you know it's different. It's, it's we have a corporate law signed by the president at 2014, I guess. Yeah, 2014. Um, however, the enforcement is not. You know, in Indonesia, uh, sign law and, and enforcement is, is, is a different thing. And um, but we're going there. We we we're going to the right direction. Uh, uh, you know, because of this law, this uh, new kind of industry start to uh, getting built. Uh, the B two B industry where business users use music um, on their and uh, you know on 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 their business operations and they pay royalties to um, uh, 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 you know creators uh, and performers and etc which is uh, is a step moving forward because uh, we had that in the past but it's, it's really chaotic chaotic it's, it's it's not it wasn't well managed we start to manage that uh, quite correctly so it's it's good it's uh, a new form of, of, of income for many musicians especially creators and performers so on that side of things it's it's getting it's, it's getting better uh, yeah it's, it's, it's getting better I'm happy with that in life sector though it's uh, I don't see any you know um, good development although um, some people realize that we need you know good festivals and good festivals are popping up here and there but as you know uh, festivals itself is not are not a, a you know uh, it's not there forever you know many festivals in developed countries are, are come to uh, you know stop being festivals or you know they're gone now they're not operational anymore uh, um, but it's good. I mean, on that on that side of thing, it's uh, people's people uh, uh, start creating, you know, uh, good content on uh, good live content. You know, a good creation, uh, the festival experience, they design ex festival experience, and etc. So etc. etc. It's 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 good on that part. However, in the um in the big league where big money involved um live music sector is run by uh only three or four companies you know big companies that can afford to sponsor uh, live music events and i don't say it's bad but it's not sustainable. Um, the thing with, with with any industry, you know, advertising based revenues uh, industries um, is 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 not sustainable. It's 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 going to be controlled by by a very small group of of people. And that's what happening in the life sector, which is um, they're not monopolizing it, but you know the part where money involved, where it the commercial commercialized part where money involved, are controlled by several, you know, small uh, small group of people. So yeah, in the big league, it's uh, it's not sustained. It's 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 going to not crash, but probably uh, not the flop as well it's going to be a routine it's going to be a, a something that uh, you know um, something that people do that's as that and to me it's bad it's uh, you know music uh, music needs to be involved industry needs to be 
uh, develop and moving forward, um, innovate, uh, you know, those kind of stuff. Um, so uh, we need something there. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's pretty obvious. One of the one of the problem or one of the thing in Indonesia that uh, we don't have a, a culture of of, of having li live venues, um, so we need to build pop up gigs, and uh, because there's a lot of people it, it, who lives in Indonesia, these pop up gigs, mostly free gigs, uh, attract a lot of people. So the 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 gig is, is getting bigger because it attracts more audience and um, the, the production consequently um, is getting you know more expensive and then because it's more expensive people need money yeah, so, so, sorry need, need need support and it's hard to, to sell, sell a ticket because they don't have, they don't have gates it's it's, it's uh, it's expensive to, to build gates and so they need sponsors and you know so on it's 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 getting bigger and because of that because of, 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 of most of the uh, events are held in, in in outdoor we need we need we need a license and that's where the, the I think the, the problem comes from um, the, the local government can't work together with the police to settle a, a, a how they we as, as, as music industry or, or, or people who who help shows outdoor shows um, getting their license and so 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 the law stated that we don't we don't need to pay anything for example or pay a small amount of money but then the police charge us uh, pretty, pretty, you know, big money. So uh, it, it's it's not only hard to get license, but it's also expensive. Um, we need to solve that because in the I've talked with with, with some some high rank officials in, in in city governments, and they they give up. They they. They can't solve it, so we need to bring it to a bigger level on the on the national uh, level. However, it's it's not easy, so it will haunt us. Um, you know, the production is is, is 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 very high right now to hold a show, and it's ridiculous. So um, on to the next topic, which is distribution. Um, the thing with Indonesia is, uh, it's a massive country, and it's 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 an archipelago. It's uh, it's formed by by thousands of islands, but it's not, it's not like one big island like like Australia or, or, or Europe or or, or um, the U.S. Um, so what happened in Indonesia to distribute physical goods? It creates a a log logistical nightmare. It's uh, you know it's it's not easy to go from island to island except by boats or or, or ships and uh, so that itself has its own problem. It's it's um, it's it's not easy. And then, um, however, Java Island, where around 65 percent of uh, the citizens or populations not living is the is where uh, most of the activities economic activities are happening uh, including music so um, many of those are just you know focusing on Java uh, on big cities and, and small cities and um, so if you talk about 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 distributing in Java it's uh, it's it's much easier than than any other you know populated islands like Sumatra, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, or Irian. And um, so, so if you uh, Java is is, is 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 where most of the business are happening. 
and uh, I think digital distribution is like a gift of, from heaven. It's 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 it solved a lot of problems. It solved a lot of distribution or logistical nightmare that we are facing as a archipelago country. And um, and YouTube, which is um, it doesn't even need fast connection internet to stream uh, videos, is is great. That's why it's it's it's. Uh, it's one of the reason why YouTube is, is, is probably the biggest, uh, uh, you know, the, the biggest biggest medium or the biggest uh, 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 channel that, that people consume music. Um, it's um, it's 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 how people discover music. Thing with with the radio, where where people used to discover music, they kind of only play popular song so it's not the place where people discover music anymore it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, it's sponsored uh, charts and and hit songs uh, only but they only play those kind of stuff and so YouTube where independent bands you know independent aggregators independent label distribution independent distributors uh, you know, uh, uploading the, the the products in there, new songs are are, are discovered there mostly, and um, they are, you know, f uh, 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 they are they are still uh, they are bands that that releases release. Uh, vinyls and CDs and cassettes, but um, it's very limited to you know uh, bigger bands, bigger independent bands, and uh, and they don't release it like uh, thousands of them, with only a couple of hundred in, in this kind of this kind of uh, size. So it's not big. It's 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 good that it's still happening, but it's not big. It's not it's not the uh, uh, you can't. You can say them as a source of so source of income. Of course, you get some profit out of it, but um, you know you can't pay the bills with that. And so, uh, cassettes is uh, is, uh, is is still a thing in some places. Um, however, um, in Indonesia, we didn't really have the evolution from you know vinyl to cassette cd to downloads and into you know streaming to whatever we you know uh, those evolution happened in the in the at the a very limited scene uh, especially in the, the independent scene it it did happen um but in the mainstream side where where the money involves or where the big money involves it's it's not happening people jump to uh, directly to um smartphone so the start many many of the uh, younger generation where where um uh, you know young, younger generation that um that is that is consumer now uh, many of them start with downloads and um, because there were no culture of of, of purchasing uh, uh, recording products um, they just download it it's it just doesn't make sense to them that um, you know, have to pay for downloads why would you pay for 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 a song or a font or you know, a, a photographs or or whatever. Um, so it's, uh, it's it, it, it creates a, a, a some sort of challenge and um, how to make them understand that it's uh, it's a product. It's 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 a it's, it's a product that you need to if you want to consume it, you need to pay for it. So, um, however, I think I think streaming kind of works here because. Uh, you know, it makes sense to them, like what they do with YouTube. However, to to pay for for streaming service, it's it's it's, it's not a problem, also. And um, 
yeah, so it's always big, it's, it's, but it's challenging, you know, to monetize it. But to attract people, it's, it's, a, it's a thing. That's why uh, when music become a, a business of attracting people, um, that's when uh, the music business in Indonesia will boom, if that makes sense. Um, so, for bands overseas, overseas bands to come to Indonesia, there are chances, there are, there are, there are opportunities. I mean, it's um, um, many smaller bands can get um, a sizable audience, like 300, 500, it's, because it's, it's not hard to, to gather 500 people in Indonesia. There's, a, there's 260 million people here, so, and uh, 60, around 65% of them are under 30. So for music market, it's, it's, it's big. If, if, you know, it's, 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 it's easier to, 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 to gather people here. Much easier than, 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 than countries like Singapore or Malaysia, for example. So um, you can get a sizable audience. But to get money is a different problem. It's a different beast. Um, um, so, yeah, the, the thing with Indonesia is uh, because we don't have the, uh, the, the club culture or live house culture where people book and people to, people can use the the, the, the network of, of live houses in, 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 in different places to tour and uh, where it creates a a, a subsector in the industry which is booking agency we don't have that so we don't have really have booking agencies here we we have artist management go straight directly working with with you know concert organizations uh, organizers uh, music promoters so um the thing with touring is uh, 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 you need to create it uh, uh, like uh, by yourself and um, the, the good entry is, is through communities um, because uh, the, the nature of Indonesians are, are you know, uh, uh, we, we are communal society we, we just, there's a lot of people here so it creates communities, it's, uh, it's how we work, it's how we, we how we call it, we uh, socialize, it's how we, we um, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, we, we're communal. Let's let's, let's just to say that. And so, it, uh, the good entry is, is through is to getting know to know uh, the right communities that can support your band and help coming here. I think that's the the, the, the best entry to to any bands that want to play in Indonesia. Find the right community, um, then you know that community will help you getting here and the rest are technical I mean there's problems in visas uh, I heard about, about uh, you know uh, artists getting rejected to come to Indonesia because of, of visa problems or any other problems that can caused by that administration part of things but um, there's a workaround um, you can always uh, find a way to solve that well 2018 should be a should be an exciting uh, year, I suppose, because I think I'm confident that uh, music in Indonesia is only getting is only uh, getting will get better. You know, we're moving forward. Uh, we have problems, like a lot of problems. But the thing with 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 those is uh, when we figure out the problems, we can figure out the solution. And then you know, so it's doable. I think it's uh, it's um, we do have a future. We do have uh, uh, you know things that we can do to solve problem. So I think I think we 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 we're going uh, moving forward. And therefore, there's a lot of uh, exciting projects that uh, that I'm, I'll be working on. And. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting a festival next year and uh, it will be, it, like, I don't have anything significant to update here 
but it will be a showcase festival for Asian and African bands and uh, it will be in Jakarta it, and around September or October uh, next year and then I'll be busy with my music cities initiatives uh, I have a we have a project uh, that runs in 2018 it's quite a big project so I'll be busy on that I'll be traveling a lot uh, hopefully and seems like uh, I'll be traveling domestically more than uh, abroad uh, I'm not sure but yeah I think uh, we're going to that direction uh, because we have a, a, a the projects that happen in Indonesia and then um, I have a new role in an association in Indonesia Creative Cities Network and um, I'll be working on, the, on many projects in there as well so yeah it's, it's going to be an exciting year in 2018 especially in music in Indonesia well fingers crossed if you have any question um, on on music in Indonesia how you figure it style figure things out or how or you know how to tour Indonesia or how to get here in general you can contact me through uh, through my email or you can go to my Twitter Instagram um, or to my website uh, robinmalo.com and send me email uh, contact me I'll do my best to respond and reply Cheers, thanks April uh, for organizing this and um, I hope uh, it's, it's a good idea anyway, it's, um, it's really, I'm really glad to contribute to this and um, yeah, I hope it's, you continue to do this and um, you know, it, it, hopefully it can attract more people and, and, and help people figure out things, especially in Asia. Cheers!